Hello guys, welcome back to our lecture 12. And in this uh, recording, I'm gonna explore a very important parameter uh, in which we must take into an, in consideration when we design uh, rectifier circuits. And it's really easy to, or simple to analyze this parameter in half of rectifier because the, the, the circuit is very simple. And this parameter is uh, basically the breakdown voltage of the diode. And uh, we usually, you know, or is it till this moment the default, you know, or we consider this breakdown voltage is really high, such as that we didn't take into consideration or the analysis that a breakdown may happen. But in, his, in these specific, you know, uh, circuits, usually the input, as I said, is a, is a very high voltage input. Usually your standard outlet, which is 110 RMS or 155 RMS, uh, sorry, maximum. And this is very high. Uh, so you have uh, a sine wave, which 155 volt positive, then one, minus 155 volt negative. And for example, in the lab, the you know you're gonna see uh, there are uh, diodes which have uh, breakdown voltage less than 100. So in such in such with such particular applications, if you're gonna use a standard outlet and you you are designing uh, a rectifier using such diodes, you will have a breakdown, and this will breakdown will de deteriorate your uh, conclusions in which you, you have or you want to feed this particular load with uh, a DC voltage or DC current, a current that flows in only one direction. So let's see how this is gonna happen, you know, if we didn't take into consideration such, such a parameter. Uh, this effect will appear if the uh, maximum input, okay, or the minus Vm, in that case, this is minus Vm, is as a magnitude uh, less than v, v breakdown. Remember, this is a model for the diode, okay? And at uh, when the reverse voltage re, 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 uh, reaches minus VBD, the diode will break down and will conduct. Before that, the, the current is just zero. But here, there is a current. And as a, this current, of course, is negative. It's flowing from N to D, but as a magnitude, it's... Uh, it's greater than zero. Okay, so I'm gonna here giving an give uh, I'm giving an example in which we have a voltage input with the maximum equal to ten. So this is ten. This is minus ten, and the breakdown voltage of the diode is nine, or this is minus nine, for example, minus nine volt. So let's see what's gonna happen in such case. Let's start by the positive half cycle. So in the positive half cycle or the first half cycle, you know. We can replace the input with the battery like this, the thing that we used to see and analyze. And here we have our load, and this battery will give us positive voltages. So here we have the input, and this the input is greater than zero or positive all the time. So basically, the diode is forward. Okay. And it will conduct when the input reaches 0.7. So the input minimum is 0.7. So when the input is less than the input minimum, or less than 0.7, let's write it directly, the diode will be off. and the current will be zero. So VR, or VO in that case, will be zero. Because I multiplied by R for any value of the current, you know, I'm uh, sorry, for any value of the load, since the current is zero, then uh, the voltage will be zero. And of course, when you do Kirchhoff, you will find that VO plus VD equal to VN, so v, VO is now zero, so VD equal to VN. Case two is when VN is greater than 0.7. Of course, we did that before. I'm just, you know, kind of review. So the diode will be on at that time. Okay, so VD will be constant at 0.7. 
And then using Kirchhoff, you will find that VO is equal to VN minus VD or minus 0 0.7 from that equation here. Whatever the input is, just subtract 0 0.7 from it. Now the interesting case. So all of this, we are talking about the positive half cycle. Now let's talk about the negative half cycle. Number two, the negative half cycle. And as we always do, we're gonna uh, flip the voltage. And I mean, in the positive half cycle, we have positive here, negative here. In the negative half cycle, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make this negative, make this positive. So I change it, the polarity of the input. But when you, when, you, when you do that, you must change the values as well. So that will be our new input. And we're gonna call it V in dash. Okay, V in dash. So we can draw or redraw the circuit as follows. So, uh, we'll have a battery like this. Let's call it VN dash. And it's also positive now. It's giving positive voltages. And here is our diode. And here is the resistor. The diode is reverse. But that, that doesn't mean that it will be all the time off in such a particular case. Why? Because V maximum input is greater than V breakdown of the diode. Remember, so the, for in the, in the most of half cycle, when the diode is forward, it needs 0.7. So the input must be, uh, to make the diode on, must be greater than or equal to 0.7. Okay, which, is, which was the case. In all previous cases, in all previous videos, when we talked about such circuits, we will always assume that in reverse, V maximum input is uh, as, a, as a magnitude in the negative half cycle, minus V maximum as a magnitude, is much, much greater than V, uh, I'm sorry, much, much less than uh, V breakdown of the, I mean, we assume that V breakdown theoretically infinity or minus infinity, okay? So breakdown will not happen. So whenever the load is reversed, it's off and that's it. But here, no, here, as we said, uh, v breakdown is nine and V maximum is 10. So let's see now what's gonna happen. Now, the diode can go into breakdown. There is a probability that the diode go, will go to the breakdown voltage. So whenever the, uh, the input reaches minus, uh, nine in that case, or in the negative, if you consider the original polarity minus nine, the diode will go to uh, to break down. So here we have also two cases. Case one, when V in dash is less than V breakdown. So the diode is off. Okay, and the current is zero. So VO, which is VR is equal to zero. And if we make Kirchhoff here, we will find that VO plus VD plus VN dash, remember we flipped the polarity and the voltages, equal to zero. VO is zero, so VD is equal to minus VN dash. When the input is uh, one, VD will be minus one. Input two, VD minus two. Three, minus three. Four, minus four, and so on, until V input dash becomes nine, which equal to V breakdown. Then at that time, the, break, uh, the diode will go into breakdown. will be here in that particular point. When the input now become, for example, 9.1 or anything greater than nine, the diode will stay at nine or minus nine, I'm sorry. And the rest will go to the the resistor using Kirchhoff. When we say that when 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 a, when a, when a resistance have a, have a, have a voltage, then at that time there will be a current. So there will be a voltage, you know, uh, negative voltage. 
on the on the on the resistor, and that's not anymore. You know, where we can say it's really bad half of rectifier. So let's see what's gonna happen. So number two, let's do it here. When V input. Now dash is greater than V breakdown, which is nine. It's like nine, nine point one, nine until we reach it ten. At that time, the load will be on, but on in the breakdown region. On means there is a current, either in forward or reverse. And VD will be constant equal to minus ZBD. So it's, it will be equal to minus nine. So let's now apply Kirchhoff. So this is one of the unknowns. Let's apply Kirchhoff now. We have the Kirchhoff uh, uh, you know, equation here. VO plus VD plus VN dash equal to zero. So VO will be VN minus VN dash minus VD. So VO will be equal to minus VN dash minus uh, VD. VD is minus nine. So this will be, let's write it on another line, minus VN dash plus nine. And now let's draw that here. So let's start by the positive half cycle. Let's have it with blue, for example. We have two regions when the input is less than 0.7 and greater than 0.7. Let's assume this is a 0.7. Now, yeah, this is not green. So, yeah, this is a 0.7. Okay, so in that small region, the diode is off again here, and when the diode is off, VO, VR or VO is equal to zero. So we're gonna have here zero with green like this. Then uh, when, uh, and VD will be equal to V input. So we're gonna copy and paste these two parts here. Copy and paste. Now, when VM is greater than 0.7, VD will be constant equal to 0.7. And VO will be VN minus 0.7. So we're gonna take this dome here, this is part of the sine wave, and just subtract 0.7, which is this distance. So basically this dome would be just covered and pasted here. And this maximum here is V max minus 0.7 because we subtracted 0.7. Okay. And again, this one is exactly this one. And that part is exactly that part. And this is Kirchhoff. All the time, VO plus VD equal to VM. So if we take that one and put it just above this, this shape, it will give us the half uh, of the sine wave. Now let's go to the interesting part in the negative of cycle. In the negative of cycle, let's do it with, uh, uh, with another like cyan, for example. We have two uh, regions when VM is less than VBD as a magnitude and VM would dash and VM would dash greater than VBD. So where is VBD? Let's uh, assume this is the point in which we have the BBD, this one. This is nine, which is VBD as a magnitude. So we have at these two points, there, uh, there will be a breakdown. When V input is less than VBD, VO uh, is zero, and VD is equal to minus VN dash. 
VO is zero, so this is the region in which we have voltage input less than VBD. So VO, VO is zero, this is VO. And now VD uh, will be equal to minus V in dash. So this is V in dash. So take these two parts of the sine wave and just flip them. I mean, multiply by each point here by minus one. Okay. So basically you're gonna have this part, these two parts, this one and this one. So I'm gonna draw them to you here. And here is the other one. Okay, this is basically copy and paste from this one, and this is copy and paste from that one. Okay, now what's happened when the input exceeds, the input dash exceeds the nine or the verdict down, VO or VD, I'm sorry, will be constant equal to minus nine. This is basically minus nine here. And VO will be minus V in dash plus, Nine. So you see, guys, this part, this distance is minus nine. So if we uh, add to this dome, this is small dome, a nine, it will be drawn here like this. So basically, that will be our. So this little dome here is this one exactly. And again, that part is exactly that part. Okay. This is cash flow. VO plus VD will give us the input, which is the negative half cycle here. If you want to go with this equation, VO plus VD plus V in dash equal to zero. So for example, this point is uh, minus V max plus nine, which is uh, minus one. And this is, remember, minus nine here. This constant is minus nine. So minus uh, one uh, plus uh, minus nine, minus 10, minus 10 plus 10 will give you zero. Again, cash. Okay. So let's now look at our new output. We were saying that uh, we need to unify the current. We need, you know, the current that uh, that flows in the resistance to have one direction. So here, if this is the, the resistor or uh, the load, this load here, in that way here, the current is flowing in that way, positive to negative. But unfortunately now, in the negative half cycle, we still have some current. And if this is the resistor, the current is flowing in that way. So the current now or the voltage has flipped as it changed. So we now have poor or you know uh, bad DC conversion. Okay. So the value is this DC that we have in the output, it changing in value and also changing in direction somehow. But by the way, if you calculated uh, VDC here, although it's hard because this is not you know, uh, completely sine wave, but you can determine it. It's not, it's, it's not hard and it's not easy as well. Okay, you just need to know this particular uh, theta. Remember, this is, can be T or can be represented as theta. So this is, for example, pi, this is two pi, but we don't know exactly what is these uh, two uh, thetas. Okay, if we know them, we will determine exactly the DC. It will be, uh, it will not be hard. Okay, from the integration. Uh, and we'll find that this DC is less than V maximum over by. Remember, the DC that we get when we uh, determine the average was V maximum over by. This is the standard DC for uh, half wave rectifiers. With such bad conversion, we expect that the DC will be less than uh, v, v, uh, v maximum over by. Why? Because that one that we got before was considering only this area, which is positive. Now we're gonna add to it another area which is negative. That's why the integration 
will be will give you something less than the maximum over bar. Okay, and that's basically the problem of uh, the breakdown voltage. Okay, and now let's you know think about it. Okay, if I don't have you know if I just have one uh, if I one type of diodes, and I know that the breakdown voltage of the diodes that I have right now, and I cannot get you know better diodes have a breakdown voltage less than the maximum inputs that I have. What I should do? So there are two solutions okay, for this. Uh, one is, uh, or the most important one, is uh, using transformers. You remember, guys, these transformers? Just to do coils like this. So uh, the transformer is just, you know, some coil, and this coil has a number of turns. So this is, for example, N1, this is N2. And then the change in the number of turns will also change the voltage ratio between V1 and V2. Okay, so basically V1 over V2 equal to N1 over N2. So if you have a big, so if you assume this is V inputs, for example, V inputs equal to V1, for example, okay, and this was big, bigger than, you know, your breakdown voltage, then make N2 less than N1. In such a case, V2, which is the output, which will be now your input for your, uh, uh, a rectifier or half of a rectifier will be less than you know uh, your V breakdown. So again, if we make N2, for example, less than N1, then V2 will be less than V1. So you can choose the term such that the output or V2, which will be the input. So we will not connect the source directly to the, to the diode. We're gonna put, so we're gonna make it like this. This is a source, then a coil or a transformer, then our diode and the resistor. Such a way you will decrease a little bit, you know, uh, or basically it's a parameterized. I mean, whatever you choose uh, in one and in two, then you can control the input that goes into or applied on the diode. This is one solution. Another solution is to put two diodes. Okay, this has a bad uh, effect in which you will increase this 0.7. It will be 1.4. Okay, but it can you know, but it you will uh, you will you know get rid of this breakdown because you will need uh, double the input, double the maximum to reach, you know, the breakdown, because you must break down at the same time, both diodes. So if the breakdown, for example, is 100, if you put two diodes, and if you have one diode, then if the input has reaches minus 10, this diode will, be, will, will break down. If you have two diodes in series, then the input must be 200, must, must be minus 200, so that they will turn uh, breakdown to the, but they must be matched. I mean, they must be the same in each, in everything. In all the parameters. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye bye.